It's beer o'clock on Milo Craft Beer. Today we've got a beer from Omnipolo. It's a bottle of Noah Pecan Mud Cake Imperial Stout. It's 11% ABV. Really looking forward to showing you guys this beer. It was sent by Johan. Thank you very much to Johan for sending the beer. There's a look at the label. It's been brewed at Douge Brewery in, in Sweden. A uh, gold bottle cap on that one. Let's get the beer out into a glass and see what we get. Love the little bottle, by the way. The little... See these bottles quite a bit in Sweden. Let's get it out. Nice bit of smoke on the opening. Beer in the glass. Oh, look at this. Blimey, blimey, Omnipolo really do know how to brew a beer. I've had some cracking stuff off them lately, but I think where they really shine is their stouts and porters. I think they make some of the best stouts and porters in the world. Uh, one finger, tan, chocolatey coloured head, nice levels of carbonation. Really impressive that for an 11% beer, it's held its head really well. Normally when a, a beer goes over 8 9%, the head can dissipate very quickly. This has held on to that very nicely. So a Pecan Mud Cake Imperial Stout. Should we get the aroma on this jet black beer? <laughs> That's just crazy. That is absolutely mind-blowing, that aroma. Loads of pecan, loads of chocolate and cocoa. A sweet candy-ish aroma. Not your Belgium candied sugar, but something else. Maybe a, a, a confectionery chocolate aroma. Smells incredible. I'm going to dive in. Cheers. <laughs> Unbelievable. Unbelievable. Stone the Crows. Stone the Crows. It hits you with the first belt of flavour. It's sweet, it's chocolatey. And then, when that kind of dissipates a little bit, you have a tiny little lull in the flavour before an onrush of bitter chocolate comes through. Lots of roasted malt comes through. I mean, I mean lots and lots of, like a bitter roasted malt. And then it's unbelievable kind of cappuccino, dessert-like coffee on the back end. Stunning stuff then, really stunning stuff. Nice fizz and hiss of carbonation that rolls over the palate. Nice mouthfeel, lovely, rich, thick, dense mouthfeel. But that espresso coffee, the chocolate, that, that confectionery chocolate I will add, and that bitterness. I'm just getting a little kick of alcohol now, right at the back. As I've taken a few successive sips of the beer, sip, 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 I'm, I'm kind of just feeling a nice bit of alcohol warm, go, warmth going down my throat, into my stomach, in my, into my chest area. And it, you do taste a little bit of that on the back end. I'm not surprised, as I said, it's 11% ABV, but it does very, very well in hiding, in hiding the alcohol. You get that pecan nut as well. That nutty difference. It's a nutty difference. It, it makes the beer stand out from so many other Imperial Stouts. When they add these flavours to the beer, it, it's just staggering that, that they, they, they can think this up. They, they may do little kind of test batches of, 
of what they want to do and then bang they they take it and they they did a did a gypsy brewer they travel around brewing beer all over the world they've chosen douche the douche's brewery the the local swedish brewery probably where they're based and they they've just done a fantastic job really have of brewing this beer in sweden So roasted malt then, there is some roasted malt in there. There's your, your obvious, I've said it so many times in this beer review already, the chocolate, coffee, caramel flavours. Um, lovely mouthfeel, the beer sticks to your mouth and you can feel it on the, on that stickiness, that slight sugariness on your, on your lips there. Not much I can say to be honest. Oh, it's actually, there's a little bit of English there as well, product of Sweden. Uh, Duges Ale and Porter Brewery, Lanvetta in Sweden. It's been imported by 12% Brooklyn, New York. So it's actually got the Surgeon General stuff going on. So um, before it's left from, from to America, it's been picked up by Johan in Sweden and sent to me. But the label's brilliant. I love that kind of smiley face with the tongue out, that kind of tasty beer kind of label I love that I think it's excellent um, rating I'm gonna rate the beer I think is absolutely tremendous it, it, it really is a staggering beer the mouthfeel the taste the carbonation the, the way the beer looks in the glass it, it's just one big bold brash stonking beer it's a 10 out of 10 a 10 out of 10 from Rido craft beer put your comments in the comments box please subscribe to our daily beer reviews and cheers